Hey friends, Dr. Motley here, and today I wanted to talk to you about hypothyroidism, thyroid problems, also known as Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease. I have many patients that come into the office and their number one concern is no energy, fatigue. They wake up tired, they have brittle hair, brittle nails, dry skin, and they often complain that during the middle of the day, towards one or two o'clock, they feel like they hit a dip and they can't get back up. Well, Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disorder. And when they say autoimmune, what it means is that your body will create antibodies that will attack your own tissue. There's a couple of theories out there. Research scientists say that thyroidism, hypothyroidism, can be caused by hidden infections such as viral infections or bacteria that actually hide within the tissue of the thyroid. Now, the thyroid is a small butterfly gland that sits right below your Adam's apple. And during the day, all your blood volume passes through your thyroid once a day. So if you get an infection in the body and it gets into your bloodstream, they have seen that these infections such as Epstein-Barr virus or cytomegalovirus, papillomaviruses, strep, staph. Have you ever had a strep infection when you were a kid? They say hidden infections can actually get into the tissue of the thyroid and camp out there. And when your body sees the hidden infection within the thyroid, it does all it can to go and attack the infection. So your own body will start to attack your own tissue. So they're saying that if you clean out the infections, then you can actually help heal the thyroid. The thyroid can start gaining strength. Now, when we talk about autoimmune issues within the thyroid, we're talking about the body's ability to actually create thyroid hormone. So if you had a hidden infection, or if you had a genetic condition which actually drained your thyroid of hormone production, your body needs those hormone signals that come from the thyroid to signal to the rest of the body. All the cells in your body need those signals from the thyroid to start to create energy. So let's put it this way. Your thyroid starts to create hormone, T3 and T4, and they give a signal to all your cells saying, hey guys, let's create energy. We need energy to help with our stress, everyday stress. Now, if you cannot produce the hormone from your thyroid because it's so fatigued, your body will feel tired. You will have different symptoms such as constipation, digestive issues, the dry skin, brittle hair, brittle nails. So what does the doctor do? They give you forms of prescriptions like T3 and T4, which are the hormones that signal to your cells to create energy. So in my office, I don't want any individual to feel bad that they have to take a thyroid hormone or a prescription. In fact, I have many patients that take both. They'll take a prescription and natural supplements because the body needs vitamins and minerals to help rebuild the thyroid tissue because if you have had a life of stress or trauma, which many of us have, and deficiencies in nutrition because we live in such a fast-paced world, you combine all those together and what do you get? Low thyroid function. So I want you to know that with hypothyroidism, you can see healing if you supply the right amount of nutrients, take the body out of certain stressors in your life, and if you have to take a prescription, you won't have to take it all your life because I've seen hypothyroidism, I've seen Hashimoto's actually be reversed because in your blood work, they're gonna look for antibodies against your own thyroid. And I have seen many of my patients get back to where they have no antibodies against their own tissue. Now I'm gonna show you in the next video, I'm just gonna talk about some of the nutritional facts that actually can help you and diet to help your thyroid regain strength. Remember, it is not an end all. You can actually heal your thyroid. So I hope this was good information for you guys. I know that many of you out there stay fatigued, but there is hope. Take it easy, look out for the next video.